Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and here is a test review question for you on periodic sinusoidal functions. The question is, sketch one cycle of each, write an equation for each graph. So we are given two parts. So first equation and graph is amplitude of 2 and period of 3. The second one is amplitude is half and period is pi. So I'd like you to pause the video, sketch and write down the equation of your own sketch, right? So so let that be there and here is my rough outline now when we say amplitude of 2 period of 3 I'll prefer to actually sketch when we are talking about amplitude and period sine function correct so let me sketch one cycle of sine function first right and then we'll label it that is how I do it right so this is and I prefer this method so first sketch a sine function now fill in the required things we need amplitude of 2 that means maximum it should go to 2 and minimum also to 2 right so that becomes the amplitude of 2 in this particular case amplitude of half means from this axis you go half away right both sides for a sine function axis is kind of a symmetry right so both sides maximum minimum values should be equal distance away from the axis so that is the first part now we have taken care of amplitude in both the cases let's look into period period means time taken from here to there and that should be 3 in this case period from here to there is is pi so so we got the time period for us now if you want to get into details of this graph what should you do you can actually go and label some more points for a sine function I prefer five points to be labeled so pi this is half of the time period and that point is quarter of the time period and this is one quarter two quarters third quarter right so third quarter so that is how you get these four quarters starting from zero giving you five good points correct similarly let's go here so we have five good points here half of three I'm writing it in fractions it's always good to use fractions and radians when you're working for sinusoidal functions so 3 fourth 2 times 3 fourth 3 times 3 fourth that means 9 over 4 right so that gives you the minimum value of minus 2 so that is your neat graph right now we need to write equation of these functions now time period is related to so well let me first give you a general equation then we'll move forward from there so general equation for a sinusoidal function whose amplitude and period is given to us should be y goes to a sine kx right so now where k is one which is related with period and a is related with the amplitude right so how to find k from the period the relation is that k is equals to 2 pi divided by the time period so that is the relation right so for the first case period is 3 so we can find k as equals to 2 pi by 3 in the second case k is equals to 2 pi by pi right so which can be simplified to 2 as far as the amplitude a is concerned amplitude a is equals to 2 in the first case and amplitude equals to minus half in the second case right I hope you're not getting confused by my working in both the equations simultaneously rather it must be enforcing you I mean enforces the ideas which you have learned right probably helps you okay so let me write down the equation now simple y equals to a is 2 sine of k is 2 pi by 3 x so when I write x I will write x here do you see this x and that is my y value so y the independent variable uh, the dependent variable is dependent on this independent variable x you get the point right so so that is how it is let me change this variable to t for a change right if i change this to t then i have to write independent variable as t right so let me write this in terms of t amplitude is half right sine of k value is 2 but the variable which we are looking into is T, so we should use T in this case correct so we have Y on this side and T on that side 
I hope that helps you to understand the whole concept. So with this we cover sinusoidal functions when we are relating them with amplitude and periods. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.